What's popping? It's going down in the life of a Capricorn for January 2019. Happy New Year. Smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. Come on. We made it. <laughs> you yeah, we made it. You understand? Y'all, it's been quite the year. Yes, if you have not recognized, yes, y'all getting straight up bed chronicles, okay? I could have waited until tomorrow to do your reading, but I said, hell no, I, I got time today, cuz. <laughs> so with that said, <laughs> hey Capricorn, hey boo, hey. If this is your first time to my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube here that will resonate with you better without cussing, okay? But this is my shit, I'm cussing. New Year, no new Mocha, no, same shit, just in a, in, in a more expensive way, okay? Real shit only. We family, all right? To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, all right? Family, what's going on? What's popping? What is tea? Are we expanding? Are we actually jumping out of our fears? Are we just jump, are we jumping off the damn uh, porch right now? Jumping off the porch. We a big dog. Arr, you understand? <laughs> this is a general reading. It is not a personal. If you need a personal, I currently have a $15 special going on. Y'all better get y'all damn readings in because Mocha's going to go on break break, okay? So this will be a January monthly video and I will see you guys in February. I will not be here to do a mid-month because I'm going to be on break. You understand? <laughs> but I will be taking emergency readings only um, at a max of three um, temporarily. So I will post in the community tab when that is going to be going on. Uh, without further ado, this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Capricorn for the month of January. Okay. Um, you all First and foremost, thank you for all of my likes, my shares, my subscribes, my comments. You guys, thank you for allowing me to share my life with you throughout 2018. My page is getting ready to make a year, and we're kind of marching into 10,000 subscribers very briskly, and I'm thankful for that. So thank you for the love. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for just really kind of holding this thing on now with your girl and actually moving forward. We family. We go through shit, ups and downs, but it's about adapting and actually embracing and actually learning from the things that we've gone through. Right, so new year, new money, new love, new sex. What's what we'll we talking about, Capricorn? Let's get it. But without further damn ado, because I could not make my announcement. My last day of doing readings, though, is January the seventh. So I have a fifteen dollars special going on for my thirty through sixty minute sessions. Get that in, all right? But I got to, you know, I could not go on without acknowledging what time of the year it was. So without further ado, y'all know I'm an artist. Sensitive about my shit though. I'm kind of coming out the dome with y'all. Because I got to tell y'all something special, Capricorn. You didn't know? Let's go. Ooh, it's a special season. Is it? Cappies, is it? You know what time it is? Hey, it's your birthday, Cappies, happy birthday. It's your birthday, Cappies, happy birthday. It's your birthday, Cappies, happy birthday. It's your birthday season, do whatever you like, it's your way. Happy birthday, Cappies, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Cappy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Cappy, it's your birthday. There's no mocha loves you. Happy birthday, it's your birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Capricorn. We turned up in the city, know what we got going on. Wanna manifest it, you got it, it's your season, what you about? <laughs> like, don't get me cranked up, y'all, but happy birthday, babies. Y'all hope y'all didn't think I was gonna forget your birthday. Not at all. I pray that you guys get everything in which your heart desire. Everything that you deserve because you guys have put in so much work and you freaking deserve it, okay? You guys, please forgive me. It's late as hell and I really just felt like clowning with you all but I had to share that love with y'all happy birthday y'all know I say happy birthday to every sign during a season in a different way so you never know how it's coming <laughs> but um while I'm taking that break I'm actually expanding on my music so because of that y'all you know it's time it's a time of expansion it's a time of growth it's indigo season look it up google is free okay so let's get it <laughs> so let's get the angel message first Angels, what do you have for my beautiful Capricorns 
for the month of January 2019. What message do you have for my Capricorns? Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I usually don't shuffle on camera, but new year, new shit, okay? I ain't say new me, new shit. <laughs> it's gonna be the same crazy ass mother. <laughs> Angels, what message do you have for my son? Venus, what's the cross watches for the son of Capricorn? Month of January. All right. Well, so Capricorn, this does come from the Doreen Virtue uh, Crystal Angels Tarot deck, okay? Well, Oracle deck. I'm sorry. And the message that you got, that you guys got, was Unikite, okay? Answer prayers. All of your great work has opened the door of divine solutions and support. So some of you guys, you may feel that you're having tower moments because I've definitely seen the tower card when I actually got to um, dig into your energy. I do want you to know that things are not happening to you, yet they're happening for you. It's all how you choose to proceed to look at the things that's going on around you, okay? So let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the month of January? 2019. Y'all know I'm pulling these cards out the top. And the spirit top, okay? So let's get it. What messages do you have for my beautiful Capricorns for the month of January 2019? What messages do you have? Yeah, some of you guys, during this time, there's a need for you guys to release fears. Release your fears and actually face them because I feel like some of you all are truly choosing to look at the negative aspects of things. And you will never really truly live if you only know to live from a place of fear because you're going to live in this place of restriction. So there's this need for you guys to truly let that go during this time and truly allow your reality to truly expand before you. Change is okay. I know that you guys are pretty practical, but there is this balancing act that's coming, okay? Things are, you guys are evolving. I know my light sucks, but you really can't see the evolving, the evolving process down there. But you guys are evolving, and I feel like, you guys really need to pay attention to signs and symbols. It's funny how the same symbols that are behind me are actually within this depiction of this video. I mean, of the video of this card. And I feel like it has to do with the fact of there is alchemy taking place, okay? A lot of things, uh, you guys should really look up Arcturians um, on, well, I, I, I listen to this channel called DNA Activation. Once you get past the weird, um, damn answer machine ass voice part and really listen to what's actually being presented to you, you'll get a great understanding as far as the process of evolution and where we are as far as the vertex goes, okay? So a lot of you all are really, really, during this time, there's a need for you to pay attention to signs and symbols and pretty much the alchemy that's going on around you all. Some of you guys have been have been praying to be happy, praying for fulfillment. So when these things are falling down around you you're looking at it like oh my gosh i gotta keep this shit together i gotta hold this shit together i gotta hold this shit together but how do you know that that shit wasn't a blockage and really coming into alignment with falling out of your damn life like you were praying for for that happiness and that peace sometimes when we pray for peace shit got to go okay right so i do feel that some of you all there's a balancing act that's happening and for some of you all it's really testing your fears and you're really needing to say it with your goddamn chest stand up oh i ain't scared Come on, monster under my bed. Put your goddamn hands up. Let's fight. All right. So I, <laughs> there's this need for you guys to really balance your balance your emotions and balance your logic when it comes to dealing with things. Because I feel like some of you guys really need to stop pulling from the negative aspects of life and the negative things that's going on around you, and really be grateful for things that's really aligning up, aligning, aligning for you. Okay. Yeah. For some of you all, stability. Okay. It's really how you choose to see firm foundations, what you choose to, um, and for some of you all, I feel like things are coming to stability as far as how you see things. There is always more than one way of seeing things to still get to the same goddamn solution. And I feel like during this time, a lot of you all are really going to be seeing things with new eyes. I feel like you're having perspective shifts, of per perception, perception shifts, things that once did not matter to you. You're going to notice them and they're going to irritate the shit out of you during this time. Things that you once deemed as important, you're really going to realize like material shit. I can't die with that shit. I can't take that shit with me. There's no fucking place for my valuables in the damn casket. Think about it. What really matters? And for some of you all, there's this balancing act that's needed to come and this focus around family, okay? Um, as well as balancing your everyday life. For some of you all, you're allowing change to take place and taking off the mask. For some of you all, the people in your surroundings, you're going to notice that 
a lot of y'all gonna have these little epiphany moments like oh shit <laughs> you a hater though you really feel like that towards me some of you all you'll notice when you don't allow people to come into your life okay with successful intentions and when i say successful intentions i truly mean this when people are in your lives for the wrong reasons, when you go against their shit that they're trying to throw at you because internally you feel that something's a bit off about it, they will eventually take this motherfucking mask off and show you who the fuck they really are. And during this time in the month of January, a lot of people is taking off the mask. And some of you all will truly be able to really have that aha moment that brings you to the epiphany that for some of these people who y'all dealing with, they they really they merely mirror you from this place of fear that you're choosing to live in versus actually embracing your authentic self taking off the damn mask and allowing evolution to truly take place and understanding that yeah i'm gonna bum my head i'm gonna go through some shit but it's not about how hard i fall it's about how the fuck what what practical what practical steps did i take to get the fuck up because once i'm sure of that i'm not afraid of falling anymore instead of looking at I might fall. Focus on my ability to get up and rise up and, and balance that and keep that shit from falling again. And yet, should it fall again, I know I'm a hell of a builder. I'm an architect, baby. So that's not a place where I fear. That's not that's not something that I fear of happening. You get what I'm saying? So you don't allow that fear to live. Stop feeding your fears and allowing people to project their fears onto you during this time. Allow yourself to truly feel and be able to see through the illusion that people are painting before you because they know that you are in that place of fear. Because for some of you all, there's this need for you guys to look beyond what you have known to be greener pastures and truly embrace and walk into that door that you fear to step into because it actually might make your ass happy. There's a completion of cycles going on. And a completion of cycles of you trying to hold on to things that do not really fit in your fucking world that you're trying to grow and trying to move into. There's this need for you all to see that. There's an expansion happening. For some of you all, there's a catalytic child that's going to be born. And I feel like this is a child out of wedlock. I'm going to go ahead and go there because I feel like it's a catalyst situation that's allowing you all to expand and truly live life and see life. You're getting a redo towards happiness. For some of you all, there's an actual birth. And for some of you all, there's a birth of something within you for you to embrace the alchemy that is happening around you. And see it from a place of gratitude and not from a place of lost or disappointment or abandonment or rejection or fear or deception or manipulation. But, it, but of expansion. But of gratitude. But a philosophy, a philosophical place. What did you learn? For some of you all, you're putting the pieces to the puzzle of exactly what internally within you was missing, baby. And you're coming to a perfect completion that really allows you to see just how, evo just how much you've evolved and just how much you have literally been putting the damn, making the fucking pieces of the puzzle fit, even though shit wasn't even together. There was never a firm foundation because it was built off of a place of unknown, of the unknown and fear and comfort. Let's get it. Embrace the rebirth, baby. It's time to live. Okay, so let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Cappies for their finances for the month of January 2019? What messages do you have for my Cappies for their finances? Ooh, so many right here. Jeez. 
Claus watches. Bye now. Thank you. Let's just do that for my Capricorn Claus. I'm going to ask it. Some of you all during this time will possibly be leaving a burdensome job. I feel like some of y'all not even going to tell give these people no damn two-week notice. You're not telling no damn body. You're just going to hit the damn door. I feel like for some of you all, in doing so, you actually have some of y'all got a new job offer that's coming. And so I feel like some of y'all been just dealing with that damn stressful ass job because you knew that you had some in your pocket waiting to flourish. And during this time, a lot of y'all are going to hear from a new um from a new job, okay? Or hear hear about a new job so from a new job, okay? But some of you all you've been somewhat resistant change, and some of y'all didn't really have just about a fuck enough. You're getting that damn monkey off your back. Some of y'all are just gonna leave a job due to peace, okay? I want fucking peace. Some of you guys are releasing, some of y'all are actually releasing karmic partners, okay, due to deception. And for some of you all, you're going to release someone who I feel like there was, a, there's a bit of trust issues within a relationship. And I feel like for some of you, you kind of been in your damn head, like, is this person a karmic? Because I feel like when this motherfucker came into my life, my money started getting funny. You're absolutely right. So some of y'all going to walk away from a fire sign. And that's going, for some of y'all, it's the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's going to open the door of opportunity for you, okay? For some of you all, you're really needing to choose between what it is that you're passionate about during this time, okay? Because whatever it is that you're passionate about, whatever it is that you're really wanting to create, I feel that you doubt yourself. You live in this place of fear of what if it fail, but shit, what if it don't? Have you ever thought about that? What if the shit's successful? Give yourself that opportunity before you immediately claim, before you immediately accept defeat. Yeah, for some of you all, yeah, some of y'all are really, some of you guys who were actually working two jobs, I feel that you're going to have an opportunity to expand, uh, possibly at the new place that you actually moved on to. So some of you actually may be cutting off a job in order to bring balance back into your uh, your home and stability life, okay? Some of y'all have really been thinking about taking a partnership or going into some type of business partnership with the Virgo person, or this could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel that you kind of been in your head about it because you're really iffy on trusting this damn person, now, especially if you are tied to this person in love matters. If you are tied to someone in love um, and they're wanting to go into business together and this is a new partnership I feel that you guys should focus more so on the business aspect of what you're trying to do because I feel like this person is a divine partner to you but I feel like there's a need for you guys to base your connection on a friendship as well as a practical level before you guys choose to move forward because I do feel like emotions could actually kind of cloud your discernment when it comes to making business decisions so truly use your logic when it comes to that aspect but don't come from a place of fear and not trusting no damn body more so trust your Trust your intuition when it comes to moving slowly, okay? Don't allow this person to, because somebody I feel wants to move fast. Like, let's do this fast, fast, fast. And there's a need for you to take your time, okay? Here, what message do you have for my Capricorn and finances? Some of y'all are being watched at your damn job by air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this person, if you feel like this person has started switching up on you, this person is also being watched by a higher authority. And why this, I feel like some of y'all are kind of being bullied when it comes to work. I feel like some of y'all buy an air sign for damn sure. Some of y'all, it could be a Virgo person. But I feel like whomever this person is, this person, this person is a, is a fast talker. During this time, watch what it is that you're signing, okay? Um, especially if you're having to, like, if you're getting rolled up at work, for example, all right? Watch, pay attention to what the fuck it is that you're signing. Actually read what they put on that paper because for some of y'all, you got somebody that's an air sign plotting on your ass, okay? For some of you all, you've been wanting to, um, some of you all are business owners. Whatever business endeavor that you've been working on for the past two years, two months, you will see some growth and prosperity during this time. Some of y'all have new opportunities. Some of y'all actually want to focus on your damn passion. And in doing so, it brings you this Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles energy. Whatever it is that you actually create. Some of you guys are artists, musicians, I'm hearing. Some of you guys actually are into construction, tapestry. I'm hearing, um mediumship okay so for those of you who are intuitive uh who do in, any type of intuitive work i do see for i do see that flourishing during this time all right but some of you all um 
For those of you who have been really trying to hold on to your job, I feel like folks is talking to you crazy. For those of you who have, who I spoke about who are kind of being bullied at work, I feel that there's a need for you to start actually recording your transactions with dealing with somebody. After I'm hearing three, after about three occurrences, go talk to that person's boss because what you don't know is behind the scenes, this person is kind of tangling you up in the web because they ass is on the damn chopping block. Ask questions, Capricorn. Don't assume during this time. Some of you guys are going to help. Some of y'all have been indecisive about going back to a job or returning back to a job. I feel like you you have many options, whoever I'm talking about, but maybe your old job wants you to return. I feel that there's a negotiation needing to happen as far as the finances, and that will actually go smooth. But you really need to be positive about your business endeavors all right but there's a strong need for you guys to move forward in your passions and desires to to actually bring that stability back into your world for those of you who are creators of like for those of you who do like hair or who do things with your hands anything that you're doing with your hands i do see that being prosperous there's a way there's a need for you guys to become more creative and be more so open to like I'll be receptive to like construct, const, constructive criticism because I do uh, feel that if you actually ask the people around you, especially I'm hearing your children, look to your children and you can also bring that balance within your work and your family life if you're doing something that you're really passionate about because it allows you the option to actually include your loved ones. Be open, okay? So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Cappies in love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Capricorn for January 2019. And love, what messages do you have for my Capricorn? In love. What messages do you have for my Capricorn in love for January 2019? <laughs> they go them damn babies. Some of you all will be finding out about children during this time, okay? For some of you all, if you've been trying to move forward and actually like, so let's say you actually met someone new, especially if this is a water sign, some of y'all could actually be finding out that you're pregnant by a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? For some of you all, you actually, some of y'all could actually be going into business with your lover, okay? That lover could be a Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Libra. Yeah, for some of you all, it's definitely a new love. And I feel like that's that love and that love and business tie, okay? But I do see a lot of water and a lot of healing energy. Some of you all are healing during this time, internally healing, and you're allowing yourself to be receptive to love, okay? Possibly from a water sign. Some of y'all could actually be healing from an air sign. Some of y'all are having a very hard time with healing and moving forward internally with dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is someone who really, really, really broke your heart, hurt your feelings, put you in this place of... um really not trusting and not wanting to open up to anybody but a lot of you guys are shifting that energy and being more receptive during this time some of y'all um will be going through some type of deception heartbreak with someone who's a fast talker someone who i feel like is a finesser okay for those of you who do not know what finesse means that means somebody played you they slicked you they 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 talk fast they're a finesser they juice you like a pimp a pimp is a damn finesser okay um for some of you all some of you all need to know that you are independent. You don't need anyone to actually validate what it is that you bring to a relationship, what it is. Because some of you guys, I'm feeling the feeling of needing validation to validation for your substance, okay? But some of you all, you're dealing with possibly an Aries person as well, um, who I feel like could have broke your heart, all right? Some of you guys, Capricorn, some of y'all are going into business for yourself. That's coming up very strongly. I do see it being very successful. It's going to bring you um, it's going to bring you a lot of prosperity, especially if it's something that you're passionate about. That you some of you guys are stepping into your life purpose during this time as well, I saw. Some of y'all are wanting to offer love, possibly to a Virgo Taurus Capricorn like yourself. Strong Virgo Taurus energy, but I feel like you are this person. The reason why this person is really could be taking their time in love, Capricorn, could have to do with them also going through some type of a tired moment. You could be dealing with somebody who could have walked away from a water sign, or they could be moving away from this fire sign energy, okay? But some of you all, you're healing and accepting love from a Pisces person, possibly after a third party situation, okay? But some of you all, okay. 
Some of y'all could be hearing some very disappointing news as it pertains to a child during this time. Some of y'all could be, I'm hearing fraternity. Some of y'all could actually be getting some information regarding fraternity. And I feel like this is going to be from someone kind of coming in and catching your damn, uh, the mother or father of your child off guard and communicating very fast. Okay, some of y'all are going to be finding out that the person who you were dealing with was not who the fuck you thought they was, all right? And, and I feel like some of y'all have been praying for happiness, praying for truth, praying for things that just really don't sit well in your ability to be revealed, and you're going to get what the hell you've been praying for to allow you guys to move forward. Some of you guys are moving forward possibly with an Aries person after a third-party situation, okay? I do feel like some of y'all are stuck between an Aries person, okay, as well as a Pisces person. Some of you all could possibly have children, all right, with this Pisces person, and I feel like you did not want to move forward for the sake of your children, but there's definitely going to be someone moving forward. Yeah, and some of you guys, again, you manifested this. You man, you asked God for happiness. You asked the universe to bring you in this fulfillment. You asked them for everything it is that your heart desires. For some of y'all, it means somebody had to fucking go. Because behind the scenes, they was wearing a whole mask. And when you start really switching up and evolving, then they, they showed you who the fuck they were. And in this month of January, I feel that you guys are going to move forward. You're not going to prevent someone else's stillness, indecisiveness, stagnancy, fear of vulnerability, fear of fucking communication to keep you stuck. No longer. What you doing ain't got shit to do with me. We two different people. For some of you all, you're going to open up to that water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you're going to embrace this shifting of this new cycle. Some of you guys are going through new life cycles. And there's this harmony aspect that's trying to happen internally within you. But you just really have a fear of doing things outside of your norm. And that has to die, baby. You got to move away from that. Move away from this, from the chaotic love. Move away from someone. Move away from people not wanting to open up and express themselves. Move away from disappointment and what you felt like you put into relationships in the past. And don't be afraid to move forward and accept the new love based on what somebody else did in the past because you allowed that person to still live and take your power even when they ain't in your damn energy. You're keeping them in your energy. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody. I feel like you want to open up and express to this person, but they're having an issue with moving on from someone from some hurt from their past. So you're having to move forward and really focus on what it is that makes you happy. And some of y'all are not really liking this because you really expected for things to go how you wanted them to go. Some of y'all are going to be very heartbroken by a Gemini Libra Aquarius during this time because this person wants to move forward and really transform and grow. They want to move forward. They want to move away from thirst. Capricorn, some of y'all okay, have put somebody in a third party situation and you're going to have to expect that tall woman from that because for some of you all, you were dealing with karmics, period. Some of y'all have a fear of being by yourself. I mean, I feel like it has to do with, and some of y'all, somebody could have actually had a third party situation because they felt that you were too controlling. They felt that the communication was a bit harsh or some type of, or like, emotionally manipulative in some point in Capricorn if this is not you it could be the other person flip it take it how it goes okay don't come for me in them comments not for it we family but take it how it goes because it could be the other person but some of y'all there's this need of independence for the self for you to be independent within the self because either you have been used to dealing with codependent relationships to the point where you've lost the aspect of your damn self you don't know how <laughs> you know, and for some of you all, this could actually be going into solitude, freeing yourself. For some of you all, in the midst of solitude, when you actually disconnect and move forward from this love, then new love's going to come like bam. For some of you all, it's a Gemini. Some of y'all could be freeing yourself from a Gemini. For some of you all, you're definitely going to be coming into contact or having some form of communication or some form of harmony with the twin flame relationship that could be with the Virgo person, that could be with an Aries person. That could be with the Gemini. I see Pisces, Libra. I see um, Leo on the board. I see, definitely see a damn soulmate relationship, soulmate partnership. This is what's coming to Capricorn, January 2019. Some of y'all are going to leave a karmic soulmate and actually meet your damn life partner or your twin flame. But there's this need to actually be accepting and open to the new beginning because they're coming back to back. You're ending a cycle and then walking right into a new one. And for some of you all, this is an actual passion. This is an endeavor. 
and it looks to be very successful. It's like the universe actually like 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 moving to different levels on the, on your favorite fucking video game. But there's this need for you guys to not be afraid. No longer let fear control your damn life, and no longer let other people's to pro, other people project their fears onto you. Because I feel that some of y'all have been a sponge to that type of energy. You've been trying to play Mr. or Miss Fix-It for so damn long that you've lost that true aspect of the self. So now that this person is moving away, you're like, damn, wait a minute. I healed you. You was my baby. You was my little lamb. Now what am I going to do? Oh, woe is thou. Thou is... Uh, what? You're a fucking cardinal sign. Say it with your chest. Speak up. Move forward. You got this. You have no reason to live in that place of fear. You are Capricorn. You bring. You are the practical. You are the practical and the cow in practicality. What are you saying? Hope is not lost. Blessings are bestowed. Blessings are bestowed. Stability is here. Foundations are firm. There, the stage is being set for this beauty, this fulfillment, this desire. But this internal conflict that some of y'all are choosing to hold on to, the emotions, the shit that needs to come out that you're choosing to work through and use financial financial endeavors as a damn crutch amongst, that part, that part needs to be dealt with during this time. Oh, and it will be. Because for some of you all, there is someone else, there's this damn towel moment, okay, especially if you're dealing with an air sign for some of you all with a Pisces. But there's a damn towel moment for some of y'all Aries. That is coming, that's going to put you in this very reflective place. And in this place, are you going to see, you know what? I've been doing this all along. For those of you who were in a relationship where there wasn't an equal give and take, maybe you were paying all the damn bills. Maybe you were the one that was trying to hold it, everything together. For some of y'all, it could have been another person. But someone is definitely coming to this period of acknowledgement during this time, Capricorn. And I feel like this is you because some of y'all have a fear of being by yourself. And spirit is showing you through your independence, through the firm foundations that you build with yourself, through new love coming, through this newfound confidence that you're going to be really living and experiencing and really that energy that you're really going to be indulging in during this time. It's a period of expansion. It's a period of beauty, newness. Some of you guys are going to explore some new things sexually that you didn't even know that you like, but you're going to find out you do because you've been holding on to this way of living that you've been taught and for some of y'all you've been taught from somebody who was really living in the place of fear you've been connected to people who were very fearful internally very fucked up mentally for some of y'all and there's this need for you to accept the fact that you can't change nobody you can only change yourself and your surroundings and that change starts within you so what you scared for alright my babies Move past that because we definitely moving forward. We ending fucking cycles and we taking on new ones like like gung ho. You understand? Jump off the cliff. You will land on your feet. I promise. Trust that you are who you are and respect the God that lives in you. And shake that ass for that birthday because I'm gonna do it for y'all. <laughs> Soon as I become off, okay? Officially off. But I love you all. If you need a personal reading, please hit me up. I send you all much love, many blessings. You all, much success, and again, much, much, much healing. Move away from that fear. It ain't real. I love y'all. It's time to expand. Namaste.